Hey guys, welcome to the video today. It's been a few years since I've bought a laptop and I just bought this Acer Aspire 16 AI. And in today's video, I'm going to unbox, show the different ports and connections, talk about the specifications, test this laptop out, talk about my concerns, and give my review. So let's get to the unboxing. So exciting. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> okay, the reveal. Oh, nice. Wow. So it says the chassis is aluminum and it feels smooth and cold to the touch currently. I actually really like it. It's really sleek looking. This is a huge trackpad area compared to what I'm used to. Here is some of the other stuff that was in the box, the power cord, so there's like two parts to it, and some paperwork. Okay, so I have the laptop plugged in. I'm going to go through the setup process. I'm not going to bore you with that. It may take a while. Okay, I got through the setup process. For me, it took a little bit longer than an hour. I think it was like an hour and five or an hour and six minutes, right around there. First impressions, I am really liking this computer. The screen looks like really crisp and clean to me. Before we start talking about the screen, let's look at the different ports and connections. On this side, there is a HDMI connection, a type A USB 3.2 port, and two Type-C USB 4 ports. And on this side, there is a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack, a Type-A USB 3.2 port, and a Kensington lock spot. The display has a WUXGA screen and is 120 hertz. Okay guys, so the touch screen is very cool. I don't know how much I will personally use this. I do think it's a cool feature for when I might want to use it. There's, you know, it comes with a lot of stuff on the taskbar here. I'm going to manage that later and get rid of a lot of this stuff. All right, guys. So there I am on the webcam. Pretty cool. Let's take a picture here. Did it make that noise or did I? Let me try one more here. Uh, it made that noise. Very cool though. I went to YouTube here and I can tell you that everything that I have done so far is incredibly fast. Here's how one of those pictures came out that I took from uh, the web camera. It seems to have flipped it because I notice now the, the words on my marquee box there are in the right direction. This one comes with Windows 11 Home. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon X processor. I was concerned with that at the beginning just because I'm so used to either hearing about Intel or AMD. Um, I hadn't really heard of Snapdragon as a processor in a laptop. I do have Snapdragon as a processor in my Samsung Galaxy S9 tablet and I've been really happy with that. So that helped put my mind at ease. For memory, this one has 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory. This one has 512 gigabyte SSD storage hard drive. I hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, don't forget to subscribe. So these are, I have my, one of my portable hard drives hooked up. This is a Samsung uh, T7 Shield. And I'm just going to transfer a video from here. So this was a video I did recently. So let's just transfer this to the desktop. Uh, wow. I can tell you just from my experience with uh, my, com my laptop that I'm using previous to this, that would have taken a lot longer. I am like blown away at how fast that was. I'm going to load this video here. Let me turn the sound What's up, guys? Welcome to the video today. That's Please crisp. To check out Hungry Hungry Hippos Turtles. I, just, I mean, look at this. this it's clean. Cool. This was a game that I loved when I was a kid. I love the Teenage Mutant. By the way, super fun, uh, cool uh, game. I'm just going to... Actually, let's, let's, do, let's use the touchscreen. I'm just going to move this to the recycle bin. 
uh, because I already have it stored on the portable hard drive, empty recycle bin. Wow, that was so fast. Okay, up here there is sliding piece right here. Okay, so this one too has the 180 degree hinge design, which is also kind of wild. So um, the screen goes down to right there. It's not flat against the table. There is like some gap there. Um, so just FYI. It also has this backlit keyboard, which I think is awesome. I really like that this lights up. It does turn off after, you know, whatever. There's a certain amount of time where it turns off. But as soon as I, you know, press, like there it went, it turned off. So now when I press like the space bar, for instance, um, it turns back on. And then the number pad over here is a little smaller than what I'm used to. Um, so I'm just going to have to get used to that. But I do really like the size of this laptop. Let me test out how the keyboard feels. I like it. I like how the keyboard feels. As far as laptop goes, I don't think it's too heavy or too light. I think it's somewhere right in the middle of that. Okay, so here is my review of what I know this far about this Acer laptop. Spec-wise, I'm happy with all of the things that this laptop offered, the 512 gigabyte SSD hard drive, the 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM, the uh, Snapdragon X processor. Like I said, that was actually a concern for me. And, and very initially when I was looking at this laptop, that turned me off like right away. I was like, I don't know if I want that. But as I started thinking about it and, you know, thinking about how the Snapdragon uh, processor has worked for me in my tablet, it really started opening my mind to the possibility that, okay, I'm going to be okay with that. And now I think from what I've seen this far, like how fast this computer reacts with everything that I've done, I'm happy uh, this far with the, the Snapdragon processor. Port wise and everything like that, um, all the different connections and ports I'm happy with. I would have liked, though, a full-size SD card slot instead of the micro SD because I could always, you know, I have full-size SD cards as well. And, like, if I had a micro SD, I could put it in the, the full-size SD card adapter and put it in. But I'm okay with the micro SD card slot as well. That's just one thing um, I would have preferred if I had an option. I also like that it has the two Type-C USB 4 ports. I'm really happy with that. Um, and overall, I just, I'm excited to have a new computer. And I think for me, this is going to save me a lot of time. When I see how fast this computer reacts when I do stuff, it just makes me happy and, and realizes how much time I'm going to save myself. When I transferred that video file, I was shocked at how fast that was going. I just, like, that really shocked me. So I'm, I'm super happy about that. And then with the gaming, I don't know, you know. I, I just am not planning to play a lot of games on this laptop. For me, it's going to be, you know, work, uh, you know, uh, uploading videos to YouTube, those types of things, work-related things. And then personal, you know, surfing the internet, you know, going to Amazon, stuff like that. So the question is, is this laptop built for somebody like me? And from what I've seen this far, yes, it is. I'm happy with this laptop. Um, and I really do think it's going to save me a lot of time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.